Now talking about the solution, where is the robot actually? So now we have all those particles, but still in order to make some decisions, we need to derive one or more actual states of the robot. And this is called density estimation. So for example, if this is our world and here are our particles, we could do a histogram over state space. So we got two particles here, one particle there, one here, three here, four here, and say two here and one here. And so we could say this is the current state of our robot because this is the peak and the histogram. So this is the histogram over state space method. We also get a more smooth result if you use a method called kernel density estimation where we place a kernel on top of each particle and adding those up we get an estimate of the overall density which is more or less smooth based on the width of the kernel that we selected. But in general we are interested in one or more positions so we could do a k-means clustering which would probably in this case identify this as a cluster center and this and this or in 2D, this could mean if we have some particles which describe a curve with a smaller radius, as was the case in our last filter results, then we would get two different cluster centers here. Or in the simplest case, we could just assume that the samples are indeed drawn from a simple distribution such as a Gaussian distribution, in which case we just determine the mean and the standard deviation from the set of samples. Now this is particularly easy to compute, on the other hand, it only makes sense if the distribution of our particles is unimodal. Now due to its simplicity, this last option is very popular. Now, in our case, our state consists of position and heading. And so to find the mean position is very easy. So our estimated mean is just the sum of all the x or y positions over all particles divided by the number of particles. Now regarding the heading theta, we again have to be careful since due to the modulo characteristic of the angle, we might have, for example, the following. The robot is looking into that direction. And so the particles will be like this. Now if our angles go like that from zero to plus pi and to minus pi, then some of the headings of the particles will be close to plus pi and some close to minus pi. So if I just sum them up, I will have something like, say for four particles, I will have plus pi, plus pi, minus pi, minus pi, which is zero. Divided by the number of particles, it's still zero. But the correct heading would be either plus pi or minus pi. And so what I propose here is, instead of computing the mean angle, we compute the mean heading vector. So we compute the vector x, y. Where vector x is just the mean of all cosines of theta i, the heading angle of the particle i. And we y is the same for the sign. And then after we compute this, our final estimate for the heading angle is the arctangent of v y divided by v x. And now you see as we divide that anyhow here, we don't have to normalize this. And as usual in the implementation, this will be the a tan 2 function. So that's all there is to do. Assuming a Gaussian distribution, we compute the mean of the x y position and the mean heading for our robot. Now let's program this, and here's some code I prepared, the density estimation question. And it is a really small programming assignment. So up here, just put in the prediction code, and the probability of measurement, the compute weights, and the resample code you did earlier. And all you'll have to do is to implement this getMean function, which is a method of the class, and it should return the mean x, mean y, and the mean heading. And that's all there's to do. And down there, in main, I modified the loop, which now not only prints the particles, but also gets the mean and then prints out the x, y in heading, where the x and y is, as usual, corrected for the scanner displacement. And this writes an F record for filtered data, which we used earlier, so the log file viewer is able to understand this. So now please program this getMean function. 